Hey guys, this is Backspace Cadet. Today, I'm here to talk about a new tool for GameMaker called Tile Setter. Now essentially, Tile Setter allows quick and easy creation of tiles for your two-dimensional games. So I'm just gonna be going over the basics of that today, showing you how to get started and how to implement it into your GameMaker project. Let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to create two sprites. Uh, for the first sprite that I've created here, I've just created a dirt sprite, and for the second, a grass sprite. Now, the dirt is going to serve as the main part of the tile or the center of the tile set, and the grass is going to serve as my border. Um, so I'll explain a little bit more. Let's go ahead and do this, and then we're gonna to wanna to save this as an image so that we can later import it into Tile Setter. All right, so I'm just gonna click right here, and I'm gonna import those two sprites that I've created. I'm gonna open these up, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that one for now. It will store it for me so I can get it back. Um, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna build the borders, and as you can see, this has immediately created a blob set for me. Um, now, these little white borders that you see here, I'm gonna click on that, and then I'm gonna change the image to my grass image. And this is going to do it for each side. So if you'll notice, already, that's done a pretty significant amount with just those two images that I've made. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over and I'm going to do that to every side. So go on the left, change the image. Now, if you wanted to, in theory, you could have um, different border sprites with different types of lighting. But for this example, I'm just going to do it with the exact same one, just so you guys kind of get the simple basics and you understand exactly how to use this. So just coming over on my final side right here and changing that to my grass sprite, if I can click that. And as you can see, uh, this has created an entire tile set for me. Um, so this is really nice because if you're not a pixel artist, this is a really quick and easy way for you to uh, create pixel art from a very minimal amount of work. Or maybe if you are an artist and you are really talented with your pixel art, but you just kind of want to save time and possibly even if you're doing a game jam and you're under a lot of time restraints. There's so many different things that you can use this tool for. Um, whether you're uh, a beginner or an expert, I think this tool is uh, actually very useful for quite a lot of people. And last but not least, I'm just gonna click and drag this entire tile set. I'm gonna right click, go down to export image, and I'm just gonna go ahead and save that image. Now, you might be wondering why I didn't do export to GameMaker. Uh, I don't know if this is just for the Windows version. I don't know if I was doing something incorrectly, um, but I was running into a, a glitch whenever I was trying to export it directly to GameMaker. So I'm, I'm just gonna import it as an image. I mean, it's basically doing the same thing um, so I'm not really sure what the case is with that. I know it's still relatively new and being worked on, but uh, importing directly to GameMaker was not working for me. So I'd like to know in the comments if you guys ran into any issues with this. Uh, maybe I was doing something wrong. Maybe that's a problem with the program. But anyways, as you can see, I've just opened this in GameMaker and everything is ready to go. This is ready to put into your existing project. Um, you can see how, how easy this would make your workflow, how much you can do with this, how quickly you can work, and just how easy it is to get started, to use, and to implement into your project. Now, many of you might be wondering, what are some of the differences between the light and the regular version? Now, I don't have the money at the moment to buy the regular version. If I wasn't on a tight budget at the moment with a wedding and moving coming up, I would buy it instantly. It's a really useful tool. Um, for only $12.99 on itch.io and Steam, uh, you can get basically a few additional features. Some of them don't really look to be all that important, but what the main feature that seems to be really useful is, is the map editor feature. This is something you don't get with the light version. Now, essentially what you can do with this is you can create um, entire rooms full of tiles instantly and the really cool thing is that there's a built-in auto tiling system. Um, so that's something that, that is a really interesting tool that the Game Maker Room Editor does not have. Now, really, that seems to be the biggest thing. Anything else that it's really mentioning on the website uh, seems to be for future versions. But um, definitely that, that map editor, I would say, would make it worth it. And not to mention, such a great product, even just the light version, I would love to be able to 
support this product and put my name behind it. Now, some of the pros and cons uh, that I personally experienced. Pros, um, obviously you do less work and it takes less time, so it's a huge time saver, especially if you're trying to work quickly or if you're doing a game jam. I mean, any number of situations, saving time while maintaining quality is always gonna be better. Um, like I mentioned earlier, it's really good for people who aren't very uh, talented or comfortable or capable of making pixel art or even making tile sets alone. So it's really good for, for kind of non-artists. Um, and not to mention the UI or the user interface is extremely pleasing. I know this is a small touch, but this is something that as a programmer I really appreciate is when a program just looks and feels good to use. Um, now, some of the cons that I experienced, it seemed to be a little bit glitchy. Now, I have to give it the benefit of a doubt. It is the light version, and it did just come out the day that I'm recording this video. Um, so, that might be due to personal error, but it seemed like there were a few glitches and bugs that just weren't working properly. As I mentioned before, importing directly to GameMaker. Um, but then another major one that I noticed is I was not able to copy and paste my images from GameMaker directly to the tile setter. I had to save them as an image and then import them inside of the program. And that was a little bit annoying, but it adds a few extra seconds onto my work. It's really not that big of a deal. Um, now, it's a little bit hard to get started with is another one of my complaints. It's kind of hard to figure out, especially if you're not super um, comfortable with using a lot of tools outside of GameMaker, or even if you're not super comfortable using GameMaker, this could be extremely hard to pick up, especially if you don't have a tutorial to kind of walk you through it. Um, and really, whenever I was looking on the website, there didn't seem to be any really in-depth explanations for this, um, which, again, I'm giving it the benefit of a doubt. I know it's a newer tool, and I have high hopes for the future. Overall, I would give this tool a 7 out of 10. This was extremely helpful for me, and I do plan on using this in my future products, uh, uh, projects excuse me, um, because it's so helpful and because it saves so much time. And that's not to say that that rating cannot improve because with new updates and patches in the future, I really do think that this is a very, very promising tool that could easily have my 10 out of 10 vote in the near future. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider giving a like. If you'd like to see more content like this, also consider subscribing. And thank you so much for over 200 subscribers. I can't believe that I've made it this far. I know it's not a lot, but it means a lot to me that I've hit 200, and it's only up from here. So you guys are awesome. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.